<laughs> in the land of grills. We got the Weber Lumineer. Don't you love that yellow? It's beautiful, folks. I'll tell you what. We're showing you. Now, if you have one of these, because it's run by electric, chances are pretty good. You're in an apartment or you're camping. Yeah, you have an RV and uh, or you have a condo. That, and a lot of places don't allow to have gas or wood or charcoal or anything like that. The Weber Lumen is electric. Works very well. I'll leave the link down below to review what it did on it. But today I'm gonna to show you how to do steak and taters here, folks. But we're gonna use another process. We're gonna use sous vide. Yeah, you're saying, what is that? Sous vide, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna show you what sous vide is to do some very thick cut Weber, uh, I mean, uh, filet mignons. And then uh, <laughs> with some taters. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm gonna show you how to take this thing right here. This electric grill to the next level. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's get started. All right, like I said, I, I think this is the perfect combination with the Weber Lumen. And if you're in an apartment or something like that, or a condo that don't allow grills or something like that, they use sous vide. And I got this Typhor sous vide station here. This thing is phenomenal. Look at a huge screen. And all these pre-programmed, hooks up to Wi-Fi, pre-programmed, but you can put your own recipes in there. And all I've got going in there is I got those, I got some really nice, look at that, some fillets. And then below it, I got three taters that are in there also. Now, now we're just taking and cooking this uh, at 130 degrees. So the taters aren't gonna be done. The taters need 200 to 10 ish to be done, but this will help with the whole process. And uh, it's just a cool way of doing steak and taters. Uh, short of setup on the lumen. Once these are ready to come off, we'll let steaks rest for just a tad bit. Uh, we're gonna slice open, slice those uh, those uh, taters up make some uh make some chips out of them thick thick cut chips that we're gonna put on a grill oh man are you getting hungry steak and taters <laughs> on the lumen yep steak and taters all right so i showed you the uh setup with the uh thai four uh sous vide uh, station that thing is awesome and uh we got our steak there and now we've taken our taters and we just took and the fact that that they were on there for two hours two hours and uh, the, the taters aren't done all the way, but they were soft enough where this cut through really, really nice. And then a little bit of this, and this is what's on the steak too, this all-purpose black garlic seasoning that's got salt flakes in it too. This is my buddy Darren at Fire and Water. And then uh, <laughs> the garlic that's in this Zang stir fry. Oh, you can get the stuff at Walmart. And all we did was we just uh, tossed this up, just like that. Tossed it up. Now, these are going to go on the grill first. We're going to get a, get them a little blackened and because uh, they're not done all the way. Once those are off, then we're going to blacken that steak. Super simple to do. Re folks, remember, if I can do it, so can you. All right, just want to give you some a look at even cooking. You know, in, in the original video, and I'll leave that down here, I put my temperature pucks on there and found out the, the, the Weber Lumen is pretty consistent on cooking. And here we are. We're at, if you can see right there, one quarter of its temp. And look at how even it's cooking those taters. I'm going to probably turn that up a little bit because uh, I'm starting to get hungry. That's another five minutes. And you realize what helps cook this is the fact that they were in the sous vide at 100 and whatever it was, 130 degrees. And that made this cooking a lot easier. So very nice on this side. Probably going to go another five, 10 minutes, take a look at the other side, pull them off, and then we're gonna turn this thing up on high, sear those steaks, gonna be so gosh darn good. All right, I just wanna show you the evenness of the cooking here. This is just uh, very, very phenomenal, these taters. All right, is your mouth watering? Holy cow, look at that. So these are gonna come off, let this get nice and hot. It'll only take a couple minutes, and uh, on the steak we'll go. All right, as we can see, we are set on high, and we're above 550, approaching 575. I'm getting hungry, so it's <laughs> we're 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 not gonna wait. Oh man! Give a minute or two. Give you look see. All right, I already. It's it's probably been five minutes. I did give it a quarter turn, so and moved them. You can see they're sizzling. Oh, look at that. Really nice. Really, really nice. That's going to be some gorgeous steak. Uh, go a little bit more. Give you a look-see. 
Oh man, blackened on the outside, rare on the inside. I can't, that's all that's left of the, of the taters, by the way. I can't stop munching on those. Let's take a taste test. Wow, is all I can say. Sous vide steak. And then seared on the Weber Lumen. I'll tell you what, that's very, very good. The taters, you saw that. You're not getting that try. You can do that on any grill, but very evenly on the Weber Lumen. <laughs> Sous vide those too. <laughs> Imagine that. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.